Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Margaret, also known as Seven Plaza here and on Instagram. I went thrift shopping today and I got so much stuff and I thought, why not do like a little haul video? Well, a little, it's gonna be a long one. So uh, get a snack, cup of tea, whatever. Um, if you don't like haul videos, this is not your video. I personally love them. Let me show you all the things that I have bought. These are all the laces that I found and they are so, so cute. Let's, let's just start here. Um, these were from uh, two thrift shops, two of my favorites. I um, usually go there once every month or once every two months or something. Um, but I love them. These are a little bit stretchy. It's stretchy lace in a nice cream color. And then this is very delicate like peachy lace and this is more of a cotton style lace really nice pink because you know pink i love pink these are all just small amounts and this was like baby blue look at the roses so cute and they had some purple very cute and also like these like i think they're like borders from i don't know curtains or something i love them it's in a cream color and these are white with beautiful flowers i usually make pockets with these aren't they lovely and then this isn't that the cutest it's well i already did like an easter journal but this would have been great for an easter journal but you know i think kitty witty project for sure and i have so i have two and a half meters almost oh and then the the beautiful big laces this is yellow would have been wonderful for easter it's so nice and then these oh my god aren't these gorgeous look at that let me show you up close isn't that beautiful and it's stretchy lace all of this is stretchy lace then this purple just, I'm going to zoom you in so I don't have to stand up. It's purple with pink. Yeah, so cute. And then this off-white. And the, the flowers are a tiny bit darker than the rest. Very cute. The blue. I mean, come on. And it's all stretchy lace. I have no clue what I'm going to use it for. But I'm going to use it. Beautiful. This is for like a fall uh, junk journal or something like that. Look at the beautiful orange roses. Oh, yeah. Pink. Always nice. Beautiful flowers. And then this. Heavens. That is gorgeous. I am used to beautiful laces because I have worked in the bridal fashion industry like for almost my entire life this would work on a bridal dress absolutely so these are the laces lots and lots and lots uh, and then the fabrics let me show you all the fabrics gingham these are actually uh, napkins how are we doing yeah these are actually napkins i'm zooming you back out but i'm thinking you know cookbook recipe book journal i bought two just in case and this is just a tiny piece of fabric um and it tells you how to make a little pillow with this and you have this abc bit and then on the other side more abcs and over isn't that cute i love it and it was like 10 cents or something more napkins with pretty small flowers. That's my go-to thing. Pretty small flowers. You can do anything with these. Again, two napkins. And this is a table runner. And I absolutely love this one. It is very sturdy material, like some sort of a canvas. Oh, be beautiful journal cover. I'm already drooling. I like this. Looks like a tea towel. It is not. Um... Um, and it's a little bit stretchy again. I have no clue what they use these for. Um, but nice journal cover. This again is a small. It was just a small piece for like 10 cents or something. But that would make an absolutely lovely journal cover. I believe so. 
this is upholstery fabric it is like very velvety let me show you if i show you the other side you can see oh you can also flip it oh wow yeah i'm gonna make a, a cover looking like this and i'm gonna make a cover looking like this because i can fit two journal covers out of this yeah and then this is like a scottish what's it called tartan i love it back in the day in the late 80s i used to wear this all the time yeah that was my go-to thing this is also beautiful it is cotton with these flowers it's very thin material so i do not know if this will work well for journal cover but i loved it and this one the flower is very big um so it will not show up completely on a journal cover but i I'm just in love with it. It is so pretty. And also, I like this material to embroider on. I do some uh, cross stitch embroidering because that's what I can do. <laughs> I'm not a good seamstress at all. This is this I would normally not buy, but I really liked the scripty bits on it. See? It has some big tulips. And then some scripty bits so i like that this is flannel it's so soft again would be really nice for like an uh an autumn or fall cover oh you could also do spring i loved it and then this yeah i have plenty 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 of this and it's gorgeous and i know all of you will love it I don't need this much so i'm gonna make like smaller pieces out of it and then put them in my shop because i for sure think you're gonna want to have this and this is also enough to share i have a couple of pieces that i can share with you i have more there's more coming this category is offer supplies except for one thing which is this one this is a vintage very old um card game again quartet i need to look it up What's that in English? Maybe it's Parcheesi or something. I, I don't know. Or Old Maid. Could be Old Maid. I have no clue. But the pictures are absolutely stunning. It's aquarium fish. It's very, very old. Well, it's not very, very old. But it is vintage. And I love these. I believe I already have this one. Which means I can use it. Right? Yeah. Then I bought a box of envelopes, a very old box. It says envelopes, 73 pieces. I don't believe there are 73 pieces in here, but there are a lot and they're old and um, cream colored and they have, a water, they have a watermark in it. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, they have a watermark. I don't believe you can see it, but they're watermarked and there's some sort of structure love them love them love them whole box full uh, i found index cards which is a big deal because in the netherlands you, we hardly ever use index cards and then i found pink ones i mean yes 100 pieces and then these ones and i can um coffee dye them or tea dye them they're a little bit bigger than a normal index cards than i have let's have a quick yeah because i have these normally yeah they're much bigger maybe they're not even called index cards record cards i don't know they're index cards to me so happy with those i find journals uh, junk journal supplies everywhere and i know this is like when are you going to use this i don't know but it's paper and there are lots of cards in here that you can use for like um, telephone and address and names on it. It's sort of a cardstock. I just think they're cute. And it's a whole box. And it was 50 cents. So that makes me happy. Then I found another Rolodex. Is there a glare? I'm sorry. It is completely full. And it has the alphabet in it. Um, it is old because there's a little bit of patina on it but it's it's empty it's absolutely empty so i heart this 
I heard this a lot. Oh yeah, this is what I was talking about in my previous video. I have this small like cutting mat, 50 cents. Yeah, I'm not gonna pass those up. Okay, so now this, I never buy these. And let me tell you why I bought them, because they were dirt cheap. That's for one. These are, uh, well, travel notebook thingies. But I really love the color. And it has like a signature in inside. We could use that. I could use it. Um, yeah, why not? It's even Carpe, Carpe Diem planners. That's probably a brand. Uh, but I like this cover. I also liked this one. This is like felt or something. I believe I can make something with this. I find uh, journal supplies like everywhere. And sometimes I don't even know what I'm going to do with it. But it was 20 cents. So, Okay. So this I normally wouldn't buy. But I see these pages on Pinterest. Like junk journal pages. That have these six holes in them. So you can fasten them in a planner like this. And I'm fascinating, uh, fascinated by them. So I try to look these sorts of... What is it? Uh, ring binders. I try to look them up on, uh, you know, my Uncle Ali and Amazon and what have you. And I found them. Uh, you can buy them. But like for 5 to 10 euros a set... And this is was like, you know, a euro. Uh, yeah, I can take these out of here for sure. So I can make sort of my own. And then, well, this is pink. So that's always a good sign. And it's completely new, guys. I mean, the, the paper's still on here. It was one euro. I could use the clasp here, this closure. And then... A green leathery one that was like 50 cents this is a smaller one I don't know I'm gonna do something with these what do you guys think I like them yeah big things look do not ask me what this is I have no clue um, it is some sort of a file folder but it's different than what I would like Normally, am I too close now? But I, you can, I don't know, I don't know. With all these tabs and these numbers. You tell me guys, you tell me. But I love it. I absolutely adore it. It is old. Then I have its little friend, which is this one. I love the cover. It's some sort of like marbled effect. It has a closure. And then you open it up. Sada! Can you see it? Yes. That makes me happy. That makes me very happy. When you close it up, it folds in like so. But you can um, put it down and then it stands on its own. Because this... Uh, just flaps out. I yes, love it. Want to see more? Because I have more. Paper section. I found this very old uh, notebook. It is real old. I think it's like 50s or 40s. It is completely empty. Um, there was this mark here and also on the back, I believe. No, just here. And uh, the pages are nice and yellow it is empty it's completely empty but that's quite all right i will use these pages to put in a signatures and such or print on them uh, that will look lovely 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 and this could also be a very nice cover right it's like some sort of uh, fake skin um, um, snake skin i don't know love it then I found a whole bunch, like a whole bunch, of these like cardstock drawings by a very famous uh, Dutch illustrator, Anton Pieck. His books are beautiful. I sell his books. There are 
really a lot of them in here and they're all different and I love them all. I have, they're a little bit big to put in a journal unless you make them into a signature. Yeah, I have plenty. So maybe I'll be sharing these. I'll be sh for sure because I have, I have too much. I will never ever use all of them. So I will be sharing this with you guys in my shop for sure. Then I have these. I'm sorry for the glare. Um, let me open it up. Oh, some of them were already open. I believe I know what this is. But I do not know for sure. So I need your help. I think these are like decoupage transfer sort of um, stickers or stencils or whatever. It looks like stickers. They're very old. Can you see the lines here? Yeah. I believe um, these were used to put on just like kitchen or bathroom tiles. That makes sense to me. But I believe you could also transfer them to paper. I'm gonna try. I love them. I have all these roses and then I have um, a bunch of these in two sizes. Yes, I, I even love this paper. How cool is this paper? This paper alone was like worth it. Stuck to here. See? I have a whole bunch. I have them in this size and then I also have the bigger size. They're exactly the same. Um, it costs nearly nothing. And then this is like... Um, Dutch word is Delft Blau. Should be on pottery or something. Oh, and look at these roses, the yellow ones. Careful, love, careful. Yeah, I don't know if it will work, but I'm gonna try. So I love these. I have a bunch, a whole bunch. Yeah, if you're interested, please let me know. Uh, I will put them in the shop. Then I bought this one. I usually don't do like cute baby stuff um, and this is like a child's album for baby boy. It is old, it is from Hallmark, there's no um, uh, barcode on it so I believe it is rather old. Um, but I thought why not look inside and I was so surprised because this blue gingham style, love it, says our little boy. And then. Look at these illustrations. I mean, honestly, this is beautiful. It is in pristine condition. Nothing is written in here. It has also looked like the family tree and the baby's name. And uh, you can put all sorts of information on it. I don't know when I will be using that, but I will be using all the um, decorations, the illustrations on here. And, and these, why, why not, why not? And then in the back of the book, starting here, I love this, like a whole bunch. And then there's all these pages that says, um, this, is called, this is translated in snapshots, kikjes, snapshots. Look at all these pages. Kitty witty much, yeah. Wow, love it, love it. Then this is Beatrix Potter party invitation pad. Yeah, <laughs> I will do a Beatrix Potter uh, journal soon because I'm collecting stuff for this one. I found some hall reinforcers, some um, uh, Robin letters and numbers. Sorry for the glare, it's in plastic. And then this is also Robin with uh, again the Dels Blau. This is. Um, uh, stationary it's not really that fancy um, but I like the lilac um, what's it called envelopes and some stationery I like it why not I oh if I see the stationery I always pick this up this again is also stationery it does not have the writing paper anymore that is too bad the envelopes look pretty plain there they have a structure again and they're um, like more yellowed but this is on the inside 
it has marble tissue paper inside. Isn't that amazing? I just, I just love that. I have a lot, so probably we'll be sharing some of them on my Instagram page. And somebody was definitely into scrapbooking and I paid 75 cents for this bunch. And each um, scrapbook sheet has his own price, like 1 euro 40. So that was a great deal. It's by uh, Pion Designs. Don't know them, but I love them. They're very neutral. A bunch of these. And these are also with stripes on the back. Very neutral. You can do anything with these. Had a couple of those. And then also these ones from Scrapberry in London. For wedding collection. And these are single sided. But I like that because I have a printer that can print on here so i can do like a beautiful like a digital collage for myself and then put it on the back of this scrapbook paper so win-win situation there was one yeah this design isn't that lovely a day in may by pion designs and the backing was also really pretty i mean for 75 cents yeah uh i have books let's get to the books Normally, I would buy twice the amount of books, but I have so, so many books. Um, so my husband told me, please stop buying books. <laughs> so this is like the bare minimum. Uh, a cookbook, an old one. Yes, you know me. I love this. This could be a great cover. Uh, again, it has all the, all the really yucky <laughs> i mean i love i love the pictures but honestly i wouldn't eat this it, it just doesn't look delicious to me i'm sorry i'm maybe a snob or something but i love good food and well this looks amazing yeah i will never ever make a recipe out of this one. Oh look fondue fondue let me tell you something ab about fondue Dipping food into other food? Win-win situation. <laughs> A good cookbook. There you go. Mushrooms. You can never have enough mushrooms. I already have this copy, a copy of these. So that means, snippy, 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 I can do some fussy cutting. And that's what I am going to do. Has some beautiful in illustrations of all sorts of mushrooms. Yeah. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. It was a euro. Well, it's a euro well spent. <clears throat> um, I don't know if you have these uh, anywhere else in the world. These are rather popular. These are field guides from Reader's Digest. You have them in the States, uh, but they look a little bit different. But it is Reader's Digest field guides. And I believe the illustrations then are the same. Uh, because... Um, yes, this is from Reader's Digest. Printed in Germany. I don't know who the illustrators are. But the illustrations are amazing. The book is matte. It has a matte finish on it. And for fussy cutting and doing collages. Yeah. If you see these. Uh, I have the whole set. They're like five or seven or so. Something like that. If you see these, pick them up, uh, however they, how much they are. Um, usually I find them around 5 euros. This was actually 3, and it's 3 euros well spent, so love that one. This is a very old book. This was in the antique uh, section, cost 25 cents, yup. <laughs> uh, why did I buy this? Let me tell you, this is like a middle, um, a medieval drama, a play. And it is written in the language that was spoken then. It made no sense to me. I thought it was like from uh, um, a county in our, on, in our um, um, uh, Friesland, which is like a state in the Netherlands <laughs> that have their own sort of dialect. Because I thought it was that, Fries. 
but it's not it's like middle um, medieval dutch yeah this is german again a very old book um it was 75 cents i i looked at the first page and i was like i don't care what else is in here because this i love and this i love and i love the cover and for 75 cents i was already done look at that beautiful and then it had all sorts of these uh, illustrations in it and i like them there are also some um like designs for ships or boats look like this i love that and then in the back there were more illustrations this is a little bit glossier paper and a lot of very old um, photographs and such so that's nice <clears throat> yes one euro fuzzy cutting fuzzy cutting fuzzy cutting all day long these are plants all plants the pages are semi-gloss let's call it semi-gloss um but yeah i'm gonna have so much fun. i don't own this one i must say uh but i don't care i'm gonna cut in it these books when i find these books i am always very curious and interested because it doesn't say anything about what's inside here it was 50 cents and i was like let's let's just see because the cover already would make for a beautiful like um a uh, lab book like a flip folio thingy love the paper and um, it has like from 1980 uh, 48 some sort of a weekly magazine for young folk i don't know but there's all sorts of um uh, advertisements in them and i love this one look at that I don't really care for, for the articles and these stuff, but I love the, the advertisements in these. Yeah. And these sorts of pictures. Look, advertisements. So, yeah, for like, was it 50 cents? You cannot go wrong. This is from uh, Queen uh, Wilhelmina. And that was the mother of Juliana. And Juliana is my favorite queen. I always use her postage stamps from 1898 until 1948 i have a lot of uh, books and magazines uh, from this period from this queen so i don't need a lot more it it is nice though it is really nice um, but i hardly ever use it but why did i buy this for 10 cents 10 cents mind you 10 cents uh, let me show you where is it because there was also something. Yes, this was inside. And this to me is worth a lot more than 10 cents. Look at that. Right? Isn't that absolutely beautiful? Yeah, that is worth 10 cents to me. Absolutely is. I'm going to come back to this book. Let's do these two. These two my husband found for me. Because he's always looking for something with numbers. And he found one from 1961. And uh, well you know. Numbers, numbers, numbers. Lots of numbers and graphs. And more numbers. And numbers. So I was, I was happy. Thank you. And then this is a telephone book from 1915 it's not really from 1915 well the inside sort of is but it's a reproduction uh, but yeah it looks like a, a telephone book look at that the pages look really old it's probably not from 1915 but i loved it and then the last one i don't know what to think about this one I absolutely love the cover and I thought, well, this is uh, probably some sort of novel or something, uh, but it isn't. And then it's newer than it uh, might look. And I really love this, the inside, and it says postcards. And then I was flipping through it and there are some sort of images of postcards, but they're peculiar with lots of naked people on them. 
but also nice ones but mostly naked people on them so yeah i no, don't know if i can show that to you but some are really lovely and then some are weird so yeah but hey i but not my favorite not my favorite my favorite uh probably the telephone book i love it. oh no i have i have two more you have two more yes i do look this is your day so cute 25 cents my dearest renee from your loving anna marie i just i adore these little booklets i have a bunch of them maybe someday i'll use them but for now and then this one i have this one a bigger version it looks new it was one euro which is sort of expensive for me because most of the times i pay 25 cents but let me show you it's full of these antique cards of europe and i don't even know where these are from isn't that beautiful and then this size i love the size i have this book bigger with bigger ones so guys uh, was that it well it is, it is a lot i hope you liked my haul um some of these items will be for sale in my shop i will have some of the um, uh, transfers some of the anton peak some fabrics uh maybe some index cards and such none of the books oh yeah this one um i have two copies of these i believe uh, if you're in the netherlands and you don't have this one you need to have this one because this is fussy cutting like for days and days and days so this is going to be near my desk um because i finally want to cut one apart take it completely apart look at that beautiful so i'm going to be cutting into this and this was a very good buy because it was one euro and that is extremely cheap for this big one oh guys i hope you liked it i enjoy whole videos i don't know if you do if you don't well, i'm sorry i'll be back um soon with another 100 day project thank you for watching guys see you soon bye